Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video this is another video um, using the bags that I got from Dollar Tree I've already put some of the peeps um, shreds in here which smells amazing um, the next thing I did was just a little bit different from yesterday I decided to put a cardboard in here because I didn't want it to stand it straight up and down this way. Which I'm just now noticed I actually could have had it stand that way. But when I looked at it, it was this way. So I said, let me put a piece of cardboard in here, which is actually kind of smarter anyway. But I wanted to put a piece of cardboard in here. Put a piece of tape on both sides. And this will help hold my um, jumbo covering book that I got from Dollar Tree up. In the back of the book I and boom there it goes because I want it to go that way simple easy boom bam by the slam okay um they have that same tag that it had on the other bag if you see my other video of the trolls one I'm just gonna tape tape a piece of the tape up in back of there okay um next thing I'm gonna do put all my stuff in the back I did. I was smart again this time. I already have the LOL stuff I'm going to put in it. But um, this video is going to be real quick, I think. I'm trying to get a little bit faster as I'm doing it. So, the stuff that I really don't care about being noticed. But I do like the teddy bears on the end. It's the stuff like this. And is it one more that I can? Oh, yeah. The animal crackers. I like that one, so I keep the animal crackers out. I actually like the cookies and chips, too. So that's how I do that. Boom. Next thing I'm going to do, I have this that I got from Dollar Tree. Well, now it's definitely covering up my coloring book. Oh, it's going to cover up my coloring book, y'all. But I guess that's okay, unless I side it in the back of here. Uh, what should I do? Because I really liked it that, that way. Let's see. I don't actually have anything smaller, so either way it go, it's going to get covered up. I think I want to save this for a um, chair. Y'all, I just had said I think this was going to be faster, but apparently that just threw me off because I just thought it was cute that way but I really don't have much to put in here everything that I have will take away from it let's try this all of this stuff that you're looking at now definitely came from Dollar Tree as you can see just adding some stuff in it I have these also came from Dollar Tree. They had these in LOL, Enchanted. They had them in, um, what is that? Uh, Jurassic Park. And I think that was about it. So it's not going to be too bad after all. I'm not putting much in this one. Um, this is going to be one of the inexpensive baskets. Bags. This bag is going to be uh, $45. So I'm not putting as much as I want to in it. But I do know that I have three lines across the back. Well, actually two, three, four, five, six. So that's six. We'll make this one seven. Eight. Nine. I want to put some cotton candy in there. So nine items and um three Dollar Tree items. Nine items, three Dollar Tree items. I turn the con can the dead way. But this one I wanted to make still LOL, but give them an inexpensive option. So with those nine items, if I did ten, you know, I based that about three dollars and fifty cents. So we got nine of the little small items and we got three Dollar Tree. 
Okay, one more, that'll be five. So in all, we're looking at about $8 right now. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make this one as less expensive as I can so that I can get them a different price for these. Because um, right now, the one that I have is 65 And then I have one for 75 And this one, I'm going to make 45 But even though I'm not putting much in here, it's going to be still a LOL baby um. A LOL basket and it's still gonna be cute it's just not gonna be as expensive as the other ones because I'm really not putting in the but my candies and stuff like that that's about it um I did have the cup already this is the cup I got this you can get it from either Dollar Tree Family Dollars or Walmart oh or Party City okay put this cup on here One more thing right here, and that's going to be all I'm going to do for this basket. I can actually make it 40. I can make it 45. Um, I'll pick it up and show it to you in a second. I just need something else to put right here, which I can use this. I'm not going to use that because it's purple. I could even use a baby doll, but I kind of don't want to use a baby doll because it's LOL. And I don't want to throw the, the scheme off. But what I need is another. That's cute. That'll work. And one more. I'll do a yellow one. So two little eggs to fill in that spot. That's about it. A handful of candy that I'm just going to randomly lift up this stuff right here. And she still got some candy in here too. But that's it, y'all. That's going to be it. I didn't even end up using this. I would use this and this for a chair. You know, something to put more items in there. And because I have all this, um, this LOL stuff and I'm not really using it, that gives me more LOL baskets that I can make, okay? Because it only took that big coloring book, this LOL surprise, and this cup. It only took three items, y'all. So this is a very good, inexpensive, LOL idea as a gift basket. I only have, like I said, um, this would have been cute somewhere. But we already have that in the back. I didn't cover it up too much. I didn't cover it up too much. Put some tape right there. So that's it, y'all. That is it for this basket. You can make this one $40, $45. Well, it's going to be a um, $40 one. This is 40 because I really don't have much in there. I have one, two, three LOL items. Um, I have the cotton candy. So I'm going to say that's one, two, three, four. Just say four Dollar Tree items. Even though this was only a dollar, the cut was only a dollar. Um, just say that's five dollars. I have my bag. Just say six fifty. Um, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's just say eleven, twelve, thirteen items all together, including it. And I say thirteen, even though these was like twenty, not even twenty-five cent, fifteen cent. So thirteen items. Um, ten is at three fifty. So we're gonna say that's five dollars. And I went over a little bit. So we had five dollars all together. That's seven. That's twelve dollars and fifty cent. Thirteen dollars to round it off. Okay. And I round it off a couple of times, so we can definitely, we can definitely say this is just only thirteen dollars, y'all. And I've even put a couple extra cents in there to cover any other thing I couldn't have covered, like the bag that is going to go in, the sales tax. I have put enough extra coins or change in there, y'all. Well, it's going to cover that. So, because a lot of people be like, "What about the tax?" and "What about all of that?" is covered within that thirteen dollars. That's why I rounded it off. Um. Make sure I got my shreds out. But yeah, that's it. That is completely it. Thirteen dollars. Um, and we gonna sell this for forty dollars. I feel like I want to put some more snacks in here for the kid. But that's it, basically. I need something else right here and to to take up this corner. I already got fruit snacks. What I got? 13. I'm trying to thank y'all. 13. 
So that's about thirty-two dollar profit. That's good. I can put two more dollars worth of stuff in here and still be good. Okay. What else can I put in this? I put a Capri Sun. Leah, Leah, stop, baby. Stop, stop, stop. I put a Capri Sun in here to take up that, and this Capri Sun is only nineteen cent, y'all. Um, Capri Sun to take up that, and then what? Another little egg. Um, that's tacky. Let me find another little egg. But that's it. That's a, that's all that I'm going to put in this basket. And I'm going to sell this basket for $40. Um, other than that, y'all, I'm trying to knock these things out as soon as I can. Get them out of the way. I went ahead and added some goldfish to the top of this um, cotton candy so it wouldn't feel so empty. But that's about all. Like I said, even if I added a few more things, it wouldn't be bad. I poured some more candy in the bottom. Put the egg, got some candy hanging off. I feel like as far as the kid goes, that's enough for them to be thankful and happy or whatever. Um, that's definitely enough snacks and stuff like that in this basket for the kid. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that doll to give her something extra to play with. If you can see, I added the doll to the back. But that's it. It's my idea of an idea of a LOL surprise gift basket bag type thing. I am gonna put this in a cellophane bag because I don't like how when I shrink wrap the bags, it kind of takes away from my coloring books or stuff like that. It starts to fold it up. But that's it, y'all. That's gonna complete this basket. I'm gonna wrap it up and I'm gonna sell it for $40, y'all. All right, I really could sell it for 45 but I'm just looking at how much candy and treats I'm putting in it. It's not, it's not much. I'm only putting $13 worth of stuff in here. But other than that, y'all, I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all know I had to come back. Hold on, sorry. Y'all know I had to come back and show y'all this bag completed with a bow. This bag is so much small. I think this is like an 18 by, I mean, a 24 by 30 bag. And it's too small, so I actually had to, um, it worked well on the side. I just taped it up, up under the bottom. I bent this over and taped it to the back. And I had a little piece I left over to the side for that bow. That's a cute little bow, too. But, um, I think it's better with the uh, cello bags. Even though it's a little bunched on the side, I can't shrink wrap it. I think it's better with the cello bags, though, because, um, well, I got... See, it's cute because it don't shrink or, you know, suck in this coloring book that I have. So, I kind of think this is way better to me, you know, in my opinion. I just didn't want to deal with the shrink route. And it's a lot less work for these Easter baskets, you know what I'm saying? I would never probably do my Mother's Day baskets like this, but this is what I did. I did the 24 by 30 bag, which was a little bit too small because, like I said, I had to take come to the back you can't even really see why I taped it up at which isn't bad but I just had to put a piece of tape to take that down I pulled enough over to this side where I can grab it and put the bow but that's it y'all there go my bag that I'm gonna do for $40 um, let me know what y'all think in the comments see y'all in the next video bye success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down my